Hello, and welcome to the show. We are racing a cathedral today. This is the Jubilee, essentially the Rolls Royce Cullen or whatever it is. Terrible, hideous thing. Uh, <laughs> we, have, we have now got in G the GTA 5 one. I think it's actually slightly better than the real world one, but that is absolutely not saying much. Oh, did we have a jump start? I thought we were going to have a jump start up on the wall there. We did not. We're now making, we're now doing a weird sort of a snaky race towards the first corner. I think we're off. I'm not really sure who's jump started this time. I think we all did, so I think it's fair. Um, <laughs> we we encouraged the jump start and then Gliska sort of went for it and then we all went, which I think is... We don't need to punish anyone for that one. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a street circuit here. We have driven this one a little while ago. It was uh, it was really good fun when we drove it before. Uh, these are... It's quite a tight street circuit, this one. So who knows how it's going to work with a massive SUV of hideousness, which is its official designation. Oh, that's going to be sketchy. Do not really want to be too wide down here. We'll... Uh-oh. Okay, now we're going to be three wide. Stevie's on that really tight line. It's going to be very slow. Uh, but we are through that section. We've got a good run on the exit, but nowhere to really go with it. Uh, oh, dear. Peg has done well to keep that out of some sort of street furniture through there. Has made it work. We are side by side. I oh, no, don't end up in the wall. <laughs> well, Stevie realised we were getting pushed a little bit. Oh, we, oh see, see, Stevie realised we were getting pushed a little bit to, towards that one and did just give us enough space. And then we carried a bit too much speed into the next corner and bumped the purple car wide. Uh, we are... This corner here is very quick from what I remember. I don't know how much grip this thing has. It's not particular. It's not particularly grippy, this one. It's definitely not the best of the SUVs. Um, we've raced a few. There are a few actually really, really good fun uh, SUVs to race on this on this game. This is quite understeery. Uh, it's probably not a surprise, really. It's not supposed to be sport SUV as much as the... Whatever the Urus copy is. I can't remember what it is. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple that are actually quite quite fun to drive. And it's not it's not terrible. It, just, it feels heavy, this vehicle. I'll say that much. It's the easiest way to describe its handling, it really does feel like a heavy, heavy car. Uh, we are going to get... In fact, we're going to get the move done before we even get to the first corner. Oh, dear. <laughs> we very nearly rolled it through there. That's not what we want whatsoever. Uh, let's try not undo that one again. I guess this circuit actually kind of... Might be a little bit better racing for this than some then. If it's rolling, if it's threatening to roll through that sort of a section on a bumpier circuit, this could be quite dangerous. It's not going to roll like the Dune or some of the other really silly vehicles, but it's definitely a little bit more prone to it than some. Uh, Impega doesn't quite... It was always a risky line going for the bushes. You never know whether they're going to be the sort that completely ruin your day or whether they turn out to be okay. And that, that was the okay option here. And we've got a big draft back past Stevie. We might even get past Impega. We might even get past Gliska. We've got a huge run down there. I will take that. Oh. And now we're going to try and fit three SUVs in a very small piece of road. Uh. <laughs> but they're not... S we're getting away with a lot of light contact. Uh, <laughs> oh, Impega almost didn't that time around. I don't want to be on the really tight line through here, but I'm going to have no choice. Gliska slides it through there. We slide it a little bit. Impega's going to make it three wide towards the next corner. Um, the wall does sort of jut out there. You've got to have sorted yourself out uh, by the time you get around that corner, which thankfully they all did. Oh, I can't turn. I'm really sorry, Impega. I was trying to turn to take the corner, and <laughs> as I turned, Impega just clipped the back of my car. It really straightened me up, and we just it stopped having any steering. I apologise on that front. I didn't want to be going out there. We lost a whole heap of time doing it. Uh, just, yeah, cars got connected and we were in a little spot of bother. Again, we've not lost the the worst amount of time. Oh, <laughs> Pekka and Steve have now got connected. Yeah, these, these seem to get stuck together a little bit. They're not the worst for, like, the... If you bump the back of a car, it doesn't get fired too far from side, like, off to either side. But if they get stuck together, they really do get stuck together. Uh, we've got a good run here, but nowhere to really go with it. Problem is, the slipstream I had was behind you, and we might actually... This is a really long way around level 8, but I'll take it. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to work. That was a hell of a pass. Uh, that, was a, that was a long way around the outside of a couple of corners, and narrow corners at that, but we made it work. Let's go almost... Almost got in trouble with the uh, hay bale there. Level 8's run wide behind us, I think. Nine Tails is now up behind us. We're going to draft off you, and... We're going to do this. This is what we did last bloody lap around. We get a big draft. Ninetales might get all of us here. Yep, there goes the red machine. I thought that was going to be the case. Um, oh, this is going to give us a big hit. 
down there. I don't quite know why we got such a big hit down there. Actually, there's not a wall between... I could have avoided that one. Gliska, yeah, Gliska has waited. It wasn't intentional. I think they may have just got carried away with a slipstream. And uh, <laughs> I was I was on the limit. I didn't realise... I thought there was a, a white concrete wall between that hay bale and uh, the other side there. Uh, so I could have actually gone through. I was frantically trying to pull my car up in time so I could make the corner not realising there wasn't out. There might be stop sticks out there to stop corner cutting and everything, and I don't know whether there'd be any problem with the checkpoint. Not sure. Regardless, I didn't realise that was actually an option I had to me. Again, it could have gone worse, all things considered. Yes, we lost, we lost, you know, the lead of the race. We've dropped back to fifth, but we aren't crazy far away from the lead here. So, we may all be back into the fight before the end of this. We get a good run down here off the back of Stevie's car. Can we get this pass done before the first corner? We can do indeed. Oh, little bit of a bump on the wall there. Uh, but we are through fine. I mean, now we're going to give the toe to Stevie, so we'll kind of return the favour uh, and help drag them towards the lead group. We're not going to do crazy overtake this lap around. Uh, we are through. And at the other side, we'll continue to tow the purple car Bring that with us. You're not going to want to really go for a pass here. That's not that's not a corner. You go for a big dive. Oh, Nine Tails has <laughs> Nine Tails has found a sneaky line that didn't work because there was a tree in the way. <laughs> I like as as ever. Nine Tails tries to find the line, and sometimes it works. Oop. And sometimes there's a bush in the way that you can't drive through when you get stuck. So yeah, that is uh, not what you want whatsoever. Oh, we're going to be a bit of a wonky line through there, but we're going to be slow on the exit. However, yeah, Mpega's going to have a run. It's going to go to the inside. Oh, God, Ewan's gone to the outside. It doesn't really matter what way I went. Whatever way I went to deal with one of them, the other was going to come past regardless. And we can get a good toe behind Ewan here. Still stuck on the outside. Ewan gets a big twitch across the bumps towards that wall. I'm not going to do anything just yet. If I'm clever, I might be able to get both of them if they fight. I actually get a load of understeer going over that crest. We've got a great run down here. It's to the inside. I don't even know what lap number we're on. Uh, you do not get a very big run to the finish line. That's why... Okay, we're on lap four. We've got a little bit of time. But you will fight... I say crazy for the positions because you do not have a run to the finish line here. There's not really... You, you may possibly be able to get a slipstream draft, but it's... Uh, not a big one at all. Oh, Impega hit the inside and we'll sneak past all of them. Oh, it's made a big mess. Ewan is the unfortunate one that uh, came out worse that time around. Um, yeah, I didn't, really, I didn't really fancy three wide into a very narrow turn one, so I thought I'd just back out and be sensible through there, and it works. We've ended up with the lead. We've avoided the carnage, and uh, yeah, we've got a nice gap back. Stevie's in third, and then there's a huge gap back to, I think, nine tails in fourth. Will they have time to catch us by the end of this race? Possibly. If only this was the final lap, it would be easier. Uh, I think they might have time to catch us, actually, because we've got a couple of times around. Uh, we don't... Obviously, don't, we don't really want to be fighting through that corner. What I'll, I don't really want to hold Impega up, pretty much. The Stevie is here as well now, so it's a little bit late. Uh, the three of us might be able to work together. We kind of want to work together and pull away from the rest of the pack so we can only have a three-vehicle battle to the finish. It never works like that. <laughs> I say this, and we always get caught up racing, uh, just because it's the natural thing for us lot to do, uh, as we're contemplating a three wide. Nope, not going to happen. If it was, yeah, if that was the final quarter, and that was going to be the move to try and make the race victory, of course I'd try it. This this point in time, it's it's just it's a huge risk that's just not worth it. Blakey's vehicle looks like a bloody Porsche. Uh, yep, yeah, Blakey's vehicle is a... Blakey's got the wrong car. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> I thought it was the crash damage that had, like, smooshed the front of it. But no, Blakey is just in the wrong car. Uh, <laughs> so, never mind. Ignore me. Uh, that would that, that would explain why it looked weird when I looked back and thought, hmm. But no, it, it's not just that this has got uh, impressive crash damage. It's... Oh, God, I thought... I just assumed Stevie was going to the inside, so I wandered back to the natural racing line and Stevie wasn't going to the inside. I do apologise on that one. Didn't mean to shut the door at all there. Um, or not not like that. Not like that at all. Alright, we've got... We're in a good position here to maybe challenge if we can not bump the wall there, but we all did. We're all off. Okay, Stevie's actually a little bit further back. Impega wants the inside through here. Knows it's difficult to go around the outside. If we can keep up the momentum problem is we can keep up the momentum through one of these bits, but we are then on the really long way there, and the door is always going to be shut. Um, 
We tried it, weren't quite far enough alongside. We will get a great toe down here. Here comes Stevie on the way past. Stevie's going to get to the inside of... Ooh, inside of me as well. No, not quite. Didn't want to make that contact because I lost a lot of time in Pega. Tried to take the faster line through there, but can't get it done. Now, we will lead... Ooh, out of here. Oh, him. Blakey and Stevie got connected. Uh, yeah, we will, we will have that. We're always going to get slipstream past uh, to a degree down here. And Pega's looking for the long way around. You can do it. Some vehicles get big oversteer around that corner. These are at least planted enough that uh, that doesn't really happen. We're going to get a good run. Am I close enough to have a dive? Not actually quite as close as I would have liked. Oh, we got a big oversteer there. This is where we definitely want to be in position to make a pass stick. Get the overtake done. Oh, Stevie with a huge dive. It's gone wrong. Oh, I wasn't watching for a Stevie dive. No, that's... Ah. Oh. I was busy with my battle with Impega, and I thought after I'd seen Stevie and Blakey having a big fight that uh, they were too far back. And I just didn't... I didn't think of the danger yet. Yeah, Stevie... Stevie made a play for it. Like, I, I will say, that was, uh, that was a hell of an attempt. And... Just couldn't pull it up in time, and I wasn't expecting it there. It kind of just carted us a little bit wide, and Pega was in the right place. Like, if I'd seen that coming, I could have dealt with it. Like, if I'd seen Stevie was going to do that, I would have braked a little bit earlier, let Stevie overshoot the corner, and gone for a cutback, and it would have ended up probably slowing in Pega down, and I could have won it. As it was, I just didn't see that one in time. And, uh, yeah. God damn it. We ended up in second. Great race, though. We, <laughs> we had a really good race around that circuit. I had to take a second. Yeah, Steve. If Stevie had got that stopped for the corner in time as well, that would have been a surprise double pass to potentially win the race. So it was like fair to go for it. Uh, it wasn't a sort of a torpedo on us. I mean, it was a bit of a torpedo to the corner, but uh, ah, well done, Impega. That was that was a wonderful, wonderful battle at the end of the day. We head into our second round around this... That was a terrible, terrible sentence. I can do better than that. Uh, let's not say the same word twice in a row. Awesome job. Uh, we're racing at night time because I keep forgetting to sort out... I keep forgetting GTA changes back the settings I used. I, I expected to carry over the settings I used from the previous race, and it doesn't. So we're going for a night race. Although, I will say this track at night is really cool. Uh, we Last time we... We, it's, it's, we have raced around this track a while ago in a video, and last time we had a night race as well. Oh, there's a post there. I just... I completely forgot about it because I was following Angus, and I saved Angus because I pinged them off the post, and then I got myself stuck on it, and then everyone else also crashed into it. Uh, <laughs> We did find in the we did find in the SUV race with the um, you know more ridiculous vehicle, and now we're driving the Arden. Now this isn't technically new to the game, of course. The Arden has been around for a while, but for whatever reason, it wasn't able to be used in races. I don't know why. I guess maybe because it was oh, it's a weaponized car in free roam, so maybe that's why it couldn't be used in races or for whatever reason. But it can it can now be because we're not using the guns for this. It's just a normal race with it. Uh, I like the Arden. It's a good vehicle. Okay, so there is a barrier there. That's why it confused me. Right, there's a barrier there, but it's a destructible one. That's why, because I could have sworn there was a barrier in a previous lap. That's why I bailed on it a lot. Never mind. I, that, was, that was a leftover from last race. This is a new race. It's a new, not, not a new day. But, uh, yeah. Let's focus on this one with the Arden. We're in fourth. After an incredibly messy start. Oh, Angus has got tangled with that uh, outside wall. That'll put me up into a third place. Oh, there's a Blakey leading the way. Could we have a strong performance from Team Orange here? That would be nice. We'll see if we can do something. Uh, Angus is going to have a look to the inside. We're going to let Angus overshoot that corner. We will cut back underneath. And uh, that's what I would have would have done against Stevie had I seen the uh, speed that vehicle was closing. Where is Angus going to go? Outside at turn one, maybe. He's going to try. Uh, we're going to not make it too crazy. We'll just make it a little bit awkward. Uh, we'd rather keep the car behind us uh, through this twisty section. And indeed we have. Um, I mean, you know, we, we want slipstream, but we've got plenty of time to catch the cars ahead. Uh, of course, the, the danger of having a car directly in front of you, as we saw on the first lap, is if they have a crash, it's easy for me to be in, involved uh, with said crash. It's, you know, we're, we're so close to the leaders that the working together, sort of the teamwork aspect isn't too much of a problem, really, at the moment. Uh, we're all going for that sneaky bit of curb boosting, anything that we can. And uh, Ewan and Blakey are changing positions basically every corner at the moment, uh, which is always it's always a fun, always a fun race when you get that one. We are neat and tidy enough through there. Uh, again, don't do anything dumb through this next section. Angus is still behind. There's nine tails, level eight. I think Gliska are all now starting to 
form up a group to go chasing down. Of course, while it is great fun when you're changing positions every corner, you're battling really hard like that, it is slow, which has allowed me to catch up. And now as I will join the fight, it will allow Angus and it will allow the whole group of cars to catch up. I carried a bit too much speed on the way in there. I forgot the island's actually quite a nice car to drive. I have, a, I have one um, online. I want it from the uh, casino wheel spin. I don't drive it all too often. But yeah, because it's not been available in races, I think the only time I've really driven the Arden is in the Sumo. It's quite strong in the Sports Classic class for, for Sumo. Uh, that is a really big group of cars that are about to come and join in our fun battle for the lead. It's not going to stay a nice, sensible battle for the lead for very long. Oh, that's ambitious. I kind of... Yeah, you were, everyone did well there to give each other enough space. We kind of are slight nervous about trying to make that one work, but Ewan did give us enough room. We're going to do this around the outside of two corners because it's the inside for the next one, but Ewan will hold it, and Ewan does. Impega and Level 8 are in the fight now. Blakey's still there behind us. Team Orange is still together. Ooh, Team Orange almost almost had his nose cut off. Uh, he got away with it. We got away with it. Can we do something? Nope. You just can't go around the outside of the hairpin. Uh, <laughs> We were going to have a good run, but the way the corner, the normal racing line kind of spits you out and the way the wall closes in, you just always end up driving into a gap that is never going to exist for any length of time. Uh, so you're probably better off. Ooh, did Blakey hit that or was that a little bit of lag? I'm not sure. Blakey got away with it. Ewan thought about getting to the inside. In the end, wasn't quite far enough along. We gave room, so it didn't really matter. But uh, yeah, slight, slight nervous moment with the gold machine having a look. Like he's going to get a bit of a slide through there. We carry a lot of speed on the run up the hill. Everything bumps and gets sideways across the curves. We're going to sneak it to the lead of the race. I'll take that. Nice double overtake for the lead. Uh, they're all going to get slipstream, although they've all fought one another. They might not be close enough to get a slipstream. It's really easy to overshoot this corner when you've got the big slipstream. So far, just about everybody with a big toe has overshot that corner one way or another. Impega is there looking and looking and looking and looking for a way round. It's not quite. Ewan's alongside. Blakey's got the huge run towards turn one. Blakey will go to the lead of the race. Impega's alongside for the first corner. We give some room. We bump the curb. Impega's not going to have the momentum, but like me and Ewan did, we'll give space. Actually, Blake, uh, Impega got crazy run mid-corner. Oh, bit too crazy a run. <laughs> Gave Team Orange a bump. That was so much speed. It just like we were side by side around that whole corner, uh, around that, that really narrow section. And it's far, like Impega found the warp drive button all of a sudden and just fired it forwards. Um, unfortunately, yeah, got like, then got slipstream off. I guess it was probably slipstream off of Blakey that, that suddenly fired it that far forward. Um, and yeah, a little too close to the back of the orange car. All right, what do we got? A couple of laps to go. We're leading. We're not going to hold this lead. It's only a second gap, and they're all together, so they're all going to be slipstreaming and working amongst themselves while I'm being slowed down by catch-up. Yeah, I'm not going to hold this lead for very long. This is not a track. We see some circuits where catch-up isn't all that effective. This is a track where it will be. Um, it's not, not the track where it's going to be the most effective in the world, but it, it will be effective around here. Uh, although, if they keep falling over one another, it will be less effective. Um... That much is for sure. I actually quite like, strangely, I don't normally go for the, like, jump across. I don't normally like going across curbs uh, when it comes to corners. We'll do the curb boosting in a straight line, but I don't normally like dealing with corners. It often unsettles the cars. Uh, they'll move around, so I'll generally try and avoid them if I can. Oh, we've got a little caught on a bump there. Uh, there's not been a great end to this lap, unfortunately. Oh, there is an Impega having a little bit of a look. And Blakey's going to get... Oh, there's some Team Orange teamwork there if that was the final lap. Okay, we can do that if needed. Uh, up towards the first corner we go. We get a little oversteer mid-corner. Nothing too bad. Uh, we will carry speed through here. Oh, Team Orange synchronised, pinging off the barrier there. Um, that got carried away in the draft. Though... I think that's a Ewan thought better of, trying to go around the outside. That's 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 why I don't often like hitting the curbs, but that that previous corner where we were talking about, it actually seems to be a line that's quite quick. Yeah, I just don't like having the cars bounce around and, and be unstable. Uh, if you can avoid it, you just lose time, basically. Um, so I'd rather try and uh, not do that. Uh, we're going to go for some more Team Orange teamwork, if we can. We'll get a big draft in Pega, did not get any draft from that they were side by side, so we'll get the pair of them. In fact, we got away from... I think it was Longbow and Angus in the end. I, I, I think it was... Ooh, oh, no. I tried to get my car the other way from that one. Not what we needed. Oh, there's another orange car. I'm not intentionally putting a pecker in the wall there to let Blakey pass. That's not, that's not that level of Team Orange teamwork. Oh, God, that's not a, that's not a good thing. 
Uh, we'll back off on the way into the corner because we can actually be quite smooth through it. Uh, okay, too much curb, too much curb. Okay, I was trying to select them. I was liking that tighter line, but that is whoa, too much curb. Bumpy backs out of trying to go three wide, not realising. That's the downside. Uh, and there's, sorry to Ninetales on that one. Yeah, so Bumpy backed out of trying to go three wide because didn't want to be three wide at that really horrible corner, which is fair enough uh, and understandable to do. The thing is, Bumpy didn't realise that me and Ninetales were already behind and I couldn't react to that sort of tap on the brakes quick enough. Uh, it's, it's an unfortunate and unfortunate sort of concertina effect of the field being all close together. I just couldn't get on the brakes in time. Uh, we're going to have a look to the outside of Bumpy. That's really sketchy around there, but I knew I had to do it. If we're going to get any further up the field, I don't think we're winning this race. I think we lost too much time on this lap, or the end of that last lap. It's how it happens sometimes. Um, but if we're going to get anywhere in this final lap, we've got to make these passes stick, and we've got to not lose any unnecessary, I say unnecessary time. But we don't want to get stuck in traffic, because if we hadn't got past Bumpy at turn one, we might not have got past until now. And we'd be further back. Although nine tails, middle nine tails hasn't got the pass done. We've got no draft. I went the wrong way. I should have followed them across the curbs. I've got nothing. Nine tails is going to be a threat here. Uh, we are having a look. Nope, not going to be far enough uh, alongside to do much there. They. <laughs> that was quite a brutal. Uh, Push to the wall. I have a feeling there might have been some lag involved in that one. Lombo wouldn't normally uh, push a car to the wall like that intentionally. You wouldn't expect to see that. Um, that <laughs> was just a squish and over went Angus. Oh dear. Uh, oh, God, so I got carried away. I got a bit of understeer around that corner. Ninetales is going to have a look, and I don't think there's much I can do about it here. I'm going to have to hope Ninetales. Gets the braking wrong through here. Oh, Ninetales got oversteer on the inside there. We are not going to be close enough to Longbow to do anything here. Um, oh, there's a little bit of a bump. I don't quite know why Liam was waiting. I'm not sure who Liam was waiting for. It was definitely something going on because we crossed a line um, and I think we got a podium. Yeah, we ended up third. I'm not quite sure why Liam stopped in that one. There might be something else going on in all that. Yeah, we got we, we just got unlucky. Me and Ninetales both were just a little bit unfortunate. Um, the Ardent's great though. I like that. I don't know why that's why it's taking like it's this long to be able to race around custom circuits. It's great fun. Uh, I, I love this track. It's still good. It's it's challenging. It's dangerous. You can get in trouble. You can get stuck on walls. Yes, absolutely, but it's a really fun layout. Bumps can throw cars about a smidge as well, but it's always it's made great racing. Um, yeah, that, that was that was really good fun. Of course, always want always want to do better. However, that was a really really enjoyable race as well. Um, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you to Level Eight for building at this circuit. Shall be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.